Thank you so much for joining today's discussion on investing in alternative energies. My name is Tammy Cash. I'm EVP and Head of Marketing here at Horizons ETFs, and it's my pleasure to be your host today as we explore what alternative energies are. We will also explore alternative energy trends and we'll review the investment opportunity specifically in uranium, lithium, and hydrogen. Now let's begin with an exploration of what alternative energies are. Alternative sources of energy are simply sources of energy that leave a low carbon footprint relative to traditional fossil fuels such as oil, gasoline, and coal. As the world continues to tackle climate change, which increasing scientific evidence shows is at least partly influenced by carbon emissions from fossil fuel burning, there is a global push to look at low carbon fuel sources to power our future. Technolo technological advances in the development of three key areas, nuclear, lithium ion batteries, and hydrogen, have made these resources potentially viable alternatives to fossil fuels. So what is the investment opportunity with alternative energy generally? Well, in the case of low carbon fuel sources or stores such as uranium, lithium based batteries and hydrogen, there is a view that more infrastructure will be built in the next decade to utilize these resources. For example, we could see an increase in the building of nuclear power plants, particularly in Asia, to help meet growing electricity demand. Lithium ion batteries are widely believed to be the key fuel source for electric vehicles, and recent breakthroughs in hydrogen energy production now make that a potential clean burning fuel source, particularly for large commercial transportation. At Horizons, we offer three ETFs that provide a very focused exposure to each of these key growth areas of alternative energy, giving investors an opportunity to gain access to these potentially powerful long-term global energy trends. Let's begin with the Horizons Lithium Producers Index ETF, ticker symbol HLIT. HLIT was the first Canadian listed ETF focused on providing exposure to the performance of global publicly listed companies engaged in the exploration, extraction, and processing of lithium, and uh, which may be involved in the production of materials necessary to the lithium component or battery industry. HLIT seeks to replicate to the extent possible a net of expenses the performance of an index designed to provide exposure to the performance of global publicly listed companies engaged in mining and or production of lithium, lithium components, or lithium related components, i.e. the battery industry. Currently, HLIT seeks to replicate the performance of the Selective Global Lithium Producers Index, net of expenses. HLIT seeks to hedge the US dollar value of its portfolio to the Canadian dollar at all times. So why would someone want to consider lithium exposure at all? Uh, lithium ion is generally lighter, more efficient, and more durable than competing battery chemistries. This makes lithium a desirable choice for energy storage, particularly in vehicles and consumer electronics where weight and heavy usage are significant considerations. These applications include electric and hybrid vehicles, scooters, your smartphone, laptops, power tools, cameras, among so many other things. Lithium is an essential material used in lithium ion batteries, which play an increasingly important role in areas like electric vehicles and renewable energy storage. The growth of these industries and their dependence on batteries is driving unprecedented demand for lithium, causing lithium miners to rapidly scale operations. In fact, according to Benchmark Minerals, demand for lithium, primarily from lithium ion battery usage, 
is expected to increase by nearly 300% in the next decade, which is astounding. So how does HLIT, the ETF, provide exposure to lithium? Well, HLIT is an index or a passively managed ETF strategy. As its name implies, the underlying index, which HLIT seeks to replicate, is designed to track the price movements of global companies where a significant part of their business operations is or is expected to be related to the lithium industry. This will include companies involved in the production of materials necessary to the lithium component industry. In particular, those companies in mining, exploration, extraction, and processing of lithium and lithium compounds. Now, identifying companies in an emerging tech space can be somewhat difficult as they often don't fit into your traditional sector classifications. So the index uses a proprietary screening process, which utilizes ARTIS, A-R-T-I-S, a proprietary software tool built to identify thematic exposure in corporations using unconventional data sources. Now, how does artists do this? <laughs> they do this by looking at annual reports, press releases, social media, and other publicly available documents, just to name a few. By doing this, the index provider seeks to provide a pure play exposure to companies that may benefit from this exponential lithium demand. Once selected for inclusion in the underlying index, uh, the underlying index then uses a modified market cap weighting. So constituent issuers with the largest market capitalization will receive a higher index weighting in proportion to other constituents in the index. Now let's move on to hydrogen. Now hydrogen is a relatively clean fuel that when consumed in a fuel cell actually only produces water. Hydrogen can be produced from a variety of domestic sources, uh, such as natural gas, nuclear power, biomass, and renewable power like solar and wind, just to name a few. It's increasingly seen as a potential to decarbonize the economy and a competitive fuel source to electricity from lithium batteries. Hydrogen is potentially more plentiful, cheaper, and actually easier to use since it only requires a quote unquote fill up rather than waiting for a full cycle uh, battery charge. After being generated, energy must be used, stored, or transported, and it's hydrogen fuel cells that are clean carriers of energy, ideal for storage and transportation. In energy intensive industries such as shipping or long distance transportation, or heavy-duty transportation, steel manufacturing, and long-term power storage, the use of hydrogen could really be a key driver for reducing carbon emissions, where a transition to renewable source resources is especially difficult. Clean hydrogen technologies, such as electrolyzers, are expanding considerably in terms of actual and planned capacity. Now, an electrolyzer system uh, that uses electricity to break water into hydrogen and oxygen is a process called, or in a process called electrolysis. Uh, as production capacity and supply continue to increase, the use of clean hydrogen in a variety of applications should provide continued support to the growth of companies situated to benefit materially from this trend. So how would a Canadian investor uh, get access to hydrogen through an ETF vehicle? Well, the Horizons Global Hydrogen Index ETFs trades uh, ticker symbol HYDR, we call it HYDR, is the first Canadian ETF listed to focus on providing exposure to the global hydrogen sector. HYDR seeks to, re seeks to replicate to the extent possible net of expenses the performance of an index that is designed to provide exposure to the performance of global publicly listed companies engaged in the development and production of fuel cell technology 
and equipment, as well as infrastructure components and systems for hydrogen generation, storage, and transportation. Currently, HIDER seeks to replicate the performance of the selective Global Hydrogen Industry Index. Net of expenses. HIDER seeks to hedge the US dollar value of its portfolio to the Canadian dollar at all times. So how does HIDER provide exposure to hydrogen? Well, similar to HLIT, HIDER will use an index strategy that will use artists uh, to screen and identify companies that have or are expected to have significant exposure in the field of hydrogen. The 25 stocks with the best artist scores will be weighted by their market capitalization with the largest market cap to receive higher underlying index weights in proportion to other constituents in the underlying index. However, it is important to note that this industry is a very early stage industry. And so to provide investors with as much direct exposure to the growth of revenue from the hydrogen related businesses as possible, the index categorizes constituents in two categories. First is peer play, second is non-peer play. An example of a peer play uh, would be Ballard Power Systems Inc, ticker symbol BLDP. BLDP designs, develops, manufactures, sells, and services hydrogen fuel cells for a full range of applications. Lind Public Limited Company, ticker symbol LIN, which operates as an industrial gas and engineering company and has other business activities that are not solely related to hydrogen, is an example of a non peer play constituent. So companies in the underlying index, as we said, will be classified as peer play and non peer play. The maximum weight of an underlying index constituent classified as peer play will be 10%. And the maximum number of an underlying index constituent, maximum weight rather, of the underlying constituent classified as non peer play is 4%. So some of you might be thinking now, where does uranium fit into this discussion since we know uranium is not a new fuel source? Well, you're correct. It's been around for a long time. However, we are seeing a global resurgence in interest for nuclear power, given that it is generally a low carbon fuel source, even though the risks of nuclear fuel, including waste disposal and and major meltdown events such as Chernobyl and Fukushima are clearly well established. In May of 2019, we launched Canada's first Global Uranium ETF, the Horizons Global Uranium Index ETF, which trades under the ticker symbol HURA. It has been a very successful strategy for us at Horizons, generating over 35% annualized return since inception. Uh, that's for the period ending June 30th. And this performance reflects the fact that in the wake of Fukushima, at the early part of the last decade, there was a steady decrease in the supply and availability of uranium, while in the last couple of years, demand seems to be increasing. So uh, there are still 443 nuclear reactors uh, operating globally and an outlook for several more being constructed, particularly in the region of East Asia. Now, in order to meet global electricity demands, there are a few major commercial electricity generating alternatives that would also meet increasing global low carbon emission targets. There is the potential that governments around the world will be looking to increase nuclear capacity in response. So how does HERA provide exposure to uranium? HERA seeks to replicate to the extent possible the performance of the Selective Global Uranium Peer Play Index, net of expenses. The underlying index is designed to provide exposure to the performance of a basket of issuers, which are either primarily involved in the uranium mining and exploration industry, or invest and 
participate directly in the physical price of uranium. Hira provides exposure to companies directly responsible for the mining of uranium, with up to 25% of the portfolio providing exposure to the price of the uranium commodity. So these two segments of the supply chain would likely see the most significant growth in value if the demand for uranium increases. Now, there are a few key advantages to using these index ETF strategies to get exposure to these important energy trends. The first is uh, lithium ion batteries and hydrogen are really helping to replace fossil fuel based engines, a major carbon emitter. Uranium is being viewed as a potential leading driver of future electricity infrastructure development through the creation of more nuclear reactors. Next is global diversification. Globally diversified uh, portfolios. These are, these are trends that are not just being observed in North America, but globally. And some of the leading companies in these industries are actually from international and emerging markets. Uh, the next is growing demand. These strategies provide exposure to alternative fuels that benefit from increased demand for low carbon fuel usage. Finally, liquidity. They provide daily trading access to a basket of securities rather than securities that can sometimes be difficult to trade individually on their own. So there really is an ease of use with one easy trade. With that, I wanna thank you for joining me today for our exploration uh, of alternative energy. And certainly if you like what you've heard, please reach out to us, uh, follow us on social media for more educational content. Uh, on behalf of Horizons ETFs, I'll share that we believe every investor, regardless of their portfolio size, should have access to the best investment strategies. And we're happy to be presenting you with some compelling investment ideas. Thanks for joining us today.